Good morning, Vigor Warriors. This is Vigor Warrior, back with another episode of Vigor Warriors 2. And today we're actually on site here. I'm uh, outside about 4 in the morning in the Midwest. And uh, we're taking a walk with uh, my big dog, uh, my great Pyrenees. And uh, I figured uh, I got up this morning early, like I did a few other mornings, because I got so much energy that I can't just sleep. So I figured I'm going to do a little work. Let's do a Let's do a video here. This is going to be a short one. But one of the questions that we had was about hair growth and can hair growth be regained if you lose it? And so I know I did talk about one about hair, but this is a little different question, so I appreciate the questions. And uh, thank you once again for all the subscriptions. Thank you for the uh, likes and the comments. And once again, I take a lot of this and uh, use it when we talk about different types of issues and things like that. So again, uh, thank you for all that, and we'll continue a little bit. It's so nice and peaceful outside. I love it in the morning. Uh, I think uh, I'm becoming more and more of a nature person and want to be out there and uh, experience it. And I'd rather do that than deal with a lot of the city stuff, uh, even though I grew up in a city, and uh, do that. So this issue talking about hair growth. Now, I can't, I can't really tell you too much about my beard. And there's my little doggy in the background, right? My great Pyrenees. Let's look and see if we can get that big dog. There he is. You see that doggy back in the background? There's my great doggy. The great Pyrenees. Anyway, talking about uh, hair growth, and, and she definitely has a lot of hair. <laughs> but the idea of that is um, I can't really tell you about the beard situation because in my case, the beard started growing when I uh, started my journey. So I don't know if it was there or not. I don't know if I've lost hair or gained hair with it. But I can tell you that the biggest issue that I've seen really is on my forearms and my legs. So probably around the age of 40, 45 years old, I started losing my hair. Uh, and so I could tell that there was lack of hair when it came to um, my forearms and my legs. And then all of a sudden now, since I've been on the uh, journey, this is about 475 days or something like that now. I'll probably end up doing a video at 500 days, but 475. And um, uh, the hair is, is growing back. So there's hair now on my forearms more, and there's also hair on my uh, legs as well. And it's coming back slowly, but surely. And I think that uh, I think levels of testosterone have been raised because of a lot of the uh, energy and things that I've kept inside myself. So that's the best that I can do to kind of answer that question. It's a good question, and I don't know. All I know that I have uh, a beard, which I never thought I could grow, a uh, mustache uh, starting in again, and I had that before, and I thought I could not grow that. And then certainly I'm lucky enough at 60 to have a good head of hair um, and also now have hair on my forearms, which I didn't have, and also my legs, which is noticeable. I mean, I... I can see the hair coming back. So yes, I would say that with uh, my experiences at least, and you know, younger young guys, you probably have a lot more success than, than, than I have with this. But um, I can tell you that in my experience, I believe you can regain your hair growth if you keep your nutrients. Now, why do you do that? Well, it makes sense. You know, when you have 200 different nutrients within your um, energy, vital energy, you know, you're able to do that. So. Hopefully, this answers the question, and next time, from me and my my doggy, back in the back here, my doggy, the Great Pyrenees, bid you adieu. Until next time, battle on.